Welcome to the Unmastered Art of Baking. I'm Fran, student and baking enthusiast. deliciously dark chocolate colour. Now we need to add our red food colouring. If you've got the gel paste, start with about a teaspoon. And already you can see it's turned a sort of lovely dark ready colour. You can always add in some extra colouring at a later stage if you don't think it's red enough. Now it's time for the yoghurt. So we'll add half of the yoghurt to the mixture and stir that in. I love it when it goes all swirly like that, so pretty. The yoghurt just gives the cake a really lovely moist texture, keeps it sort of sticky and delicious. And then we need to add half of our flour. By doing half and half, it just means that you don't get either too stiff or too liquid a mixture. It keeps it about the same consistency. Makes it easier to stir. And then the other half of the yoghurt and the rest of the flour. Spoon all of this delicious mixture into your dish. And push it into all the corners. And then into the oven for about 40 minutes. Once your cake's ready, mine took exactly 40 minutes, transfer it onto a cooling rack and then we can start making the icing. Get your room temperature butter and I cut it into small cubes, this just makes it easier to whiz later. Plop that into the bowl and then we need to measure out our icing sugar and cream those two together. 
Once you've added all of your icing sugar, your mixture will be a fine sand texture. Don't worry, this is just because of the high sugar content, as I said before. But now we can add our cold cream cheese and then mix it in. Then beat or use an electric hand mix until your icing goes really light and fluffy. Now that your cake's cooled and you've made your icing, we can begin. Just use either a spatula or a knife if you don't have a spatula to just encourage it into the corners. Because the icing is quite liquid, you will get this sort of effect around the bottom, but we're going to carry on decorating, then put it in the fridge, and then you can clean it up after that. So I'm going to use giant chocolate buttons to decorate my celebration cake. Okay, so I bought this red rolling uh, icing just from Tesco, and Get a small blob, work it in your hands until it's malleable. Trim your first piece so that it's a nice straight bow looking piece and then do exactly the same with the other half. Tuck them in at the sides, but what I'm going to do is, along with the cleaning up of the icing, I'm going to leave those bits there and we can trim them later. And then back into the fridge to set and we'll trim it later. Once you've finished trimming and clearing up the edges, you can write a personal message and then you're done. Now you've successfully made my red velvet cake. This one's reserved for my friend Neve on her birthday. <laughs>